In the last video, we took a beginning look at variables in Python. In the next several videos, we're going to start taking a look at data types. And the first data type we're going to look at are strings. And there are several neat little functions that Python supplies that we're going to examine in this video in terms of strings. So let's go ahead and create a string variable. And we're just going to call that name. And then we're just going to go ahead and give that a value of Mary. And you will remember, we don't need to declare a data type. Python already assumes the data type is a string. Now with strings, you can either use double quotes or single quotes. Both will work. So really, it's your preference. And then let's just go ahead and print this out. And we're just going to specify the name of our variable here. And then let's go ahead and execute it and see if it works. And it did. It printed out Mary, and we got a return code of zero, which is exactly what we wanted. Now, as I mentioned, single quotes work as well. So let's just make sure that is indeed the case. And we'll just go put single quotes here, and let's go ahead and re-execute this. And look, it worked. Now, similar to many other languages, Python allows you to combine strings. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's uh, put a space here, and let's say that Mary lives seven miles away. So again, we can combine strings. So let's go ahead and execute this and make sure we get the proper output. And we did. Now, we can also make this a variable if we want. So let's go ahead and do that. And we can name this uh, whatever we want. We'll just say miles or something. And we'll just put equal here. And I've already copied this, so let's paste it. And then all we have to do down here is go ahead and specify our miles variable. Let's re-execute this and make sure it works. And it did. Now let's go ahead and change this to age. Let's go ahead and say something like 37. We're gonna say she's 37 years old. And we'll put in here, Mary is, and just a space, 37. And then let's go ahead and specify our variable here. And that of course is age. All right, so let's go ahead and execute this. And it did not work. And actually that's exactly what I wanted because I wanted to show you this. You cannot combine a string and an integer because without those quotes, Python is gonna treat this variable as an integer. So again, you cannot combine a string and an integer. So how do we do that? Well, there are a couple ways. One way is we could just put quotes around this, but what if we needed to reuse this as an integer? and we wanted to basically keep this variable as an integer, well, we could actually do the conversion right here. And Python provides a neat little function that will basically convert this value to a string so that we can combine the two values in our print function. So all we do is use the str function, and we need to put some parentheses around age now, and that's exactly what this neat little function will do. He will now take this age variable and convert it to a string. So again, that these two variables can be combined. So let's go ahead and and run this now. And there you can see, we got the correct output, Mary is 37. Now let's go ahead and change this variable back to Mary, just Mary. Let's get rid of our age variable, we don't need that anymore. Let's go ahead and get rid of all of this as well. Now what I'm going to show you is how to print out a specific character in a string variable. So let's say we wanted to print out this A, this second character. Well, we can do that right here by specifying a bracket, and then we specify the character position. And in this case, it is one. Now you will remember that computers always start with zero. So if you wanted to print out the M, you would have to put a zero here. But in this case, we wanna just print out the A. So let's go ahead and see if that works. And it did, it printed out the correct character. 